It's time for another Adafruit unboxing. I was super excited when I saw the teaser on the website for the new Adabox. It was um, a, a BitTunes version uh, of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I couldn't wait to check it out. And it made me really excited and really happy that I stayed subscribed to Adabox after the last box. So I wanted to do a little unboxing. It's not going to be as pure an unboxing as last time was because um, the way they packaged it this time is some stuff is in the box, but some of the stuff was in a larger box. And that larger box, since it gets thrown around everywhere, you know, during um, shipping and delivery, I tend to uh, not bring that one into the house or, you know, not into my desk area. That just um, stays out dirty, just took all the stuff out. So some of the stuff is outside the box, but i um, still excited. So first of all, this was just sitting on top of the box. So I'll just show this. So that really awesome Rocky Horror... Rocky Horror uh, theme. And it's called Adabox 16 Pixel Show. And uh, <laughs> I'm not awesome at singing, but I, I, I can't uh, help it when it comes to this, right? So it's just a blink to the left, then a sparkle to the right. This Halloween, we're going to glam it up and shine brighter than ever. In this Ada box, we give you 2,000 plus rainbow pixels to customize for the ultimate expressive display. So um, I, unlike last time, I didn't um, end up spoiling myself by looking at their, their how-to for the box ahead of time. Um, I did that last time, and so the box, it, what was in the box itself wasn't a surprise, um, although it was still fun to unbox. Um, this time I didn't. So that sounds really cool. That's going to be really neat for some projects in the future after I take this project apart. With a bit of a mind flip, make a mesmerizing digital sandbox or huge spooky eyes for your windowsill. Definitely be doing the latter for October and the, uh, the former later. Space out on sensation, playing your favorite animated GIFs or the latest tweets. That would also be really cool. Again, um, Actually, this is so cool <laughs> that they did this because um, when I got back into electronic stuff um, uh, earlier in the in this year and late last year, um, one of the things I was thinking was for Christmas I could do something like that in a window display um, using some of the stuff that Adafruit sells as as the uh, as display. So that'll be kind of neat. I'm looking forward to doing something like that. Uh, I had been thinking at the time of playing a bunch of animated GIFs of um, Christmas movies. Nothing can ever be the same. Once you have a matrix portal and a 64 by 32 RGB matrix display, the Wi-Fi connectable display is a little bit of Times Square brought into your home. That's really cool that it can uh, connect via Wi-Fi. A huge thank you to DigiKey for going above and beyond to help support Adafruit over the last few months. DigiKey support made this box possible, and we're so excited to see what you will build. So come up to the Adabox lab and see on the slab. I see you shiver with antis. And so they've got um, a matrix portal, the star of the show. It's got a SAMD51 processor. It can drive an RGB matrix display while juggling other tasks. Add in an ESP32 Wi-Fi core processor. You've got full connectivity. Plugs right into the back of any RGB matrix and is powered over USB-C. That is really neat. That... Um, that you've you've got this matrix that can talk over Wi-Fi and the ESP32. It, I mean, it's, it's basically an Arduino, um, not literally, but you know, that's really cool. Uh, 64 by 32 RGB matrix, over 2,000 colorful LEDs, the most LEDs of any in a box. Plug it into the matrix portal and use our Arduino or Circuit Python libraries to draw and animate. That's really cool. Big Pythonista here, so I'm glad I can use um, Python. Adhesive squares. This strong and transparent adhesive is perfect for mounting the LED acrylic to the front of your matrix. Uh, I think I know what that is. Uh, a 5 volt 2.4 amp power supply with a USB-C adapter. I think those are the um, power supplies I've been buying for all of my uh, Raspberry Pi projects throughout the house. See that in my blog. A bent wire stand. Keep your kit upright while you're working on it with a simple but effective stand. One M M3 machine screws. Use two on the mate. I guess it's one bag. Uh, 
uh, used on the matrix portal attach power cables. The rest can be used if you want to mount the matrix using the M3 bosses. One face mask. Stay safe, stay covered. And one ear saver. We love these flexible ear savers. They hook onto the loops of your mask behind your head, keeping your delicate ears from chafing. Patient. Right, that's the... It's an antis. And at the end, patient. Ah, Dr. Frankenfurter, one of my favorite characters in all of cinema. Um, I'm really excited about this box. Let's switch to the other view and um, do the unboxing. Okay, so here's what was in the outer box. We have the power supply. We have the Matrix Portal, super special. And I will open that in a second. Here are the little squares, the adhesive squares, an adapter. I think these are the ear savers, screws. Here's the stand they mentioned for while you're working on your project. And here's the inner box. Cables, ribbon cable. This makes me think of old computers. And here's the back of the matrix. So you can see here, there's um, power and ground. There we go. And so there's power. This is probably the signal. Here's another signal. Bunch of little chips everywhere. I'm guessing those are driving the LEDs. And there's the front. And I've seen, uh, if you go to their um, homepage, you'll see that uh, they'll have a GIF that goes like this, and then like this. And they're, um, they'll show like a bunch of pixels falling like, uh, like sand. So I'm really excited to work with this. I think I'm definitely going to make this a project that I do with the kids. Let's take a look at the controller here. Yeah, I guess this is the acrylic thing. Oh, I guess there's one more bit of styrofoam to go in here. There we go. Okay. So, let's take a look at the Matrix Portal Super Special. That just sounds so cool. I can't wait to see the uh, video where, where they go through, go through this. So here we go. Look at that. The bottom side. So here's where it connects to the matrix. It just sounds funny. The matrix. Um, matrix portal M4. Um, so I'm guessing that means that this is like their M4, which is, is a, um, like their Arduino, um, have num names like M on them. And I see here, um, you've got a lot of the same pins that are exposed on an Arduino. This side. Blocks and transmit and receive. Um, this big thing here must be the ESP32. Yep, I can see here, Expressive 32. And over here we've got, what are these? Buttons, one, two, three, but three tactile buttons. And then USB-C here, which is really neat. Um, Adafruit going into the future there. That's really cool. Uh, yeah. A beautiful. Oh, this way. There we go. That is a real beauty. All right. That's very exciting. So... That's my um, Adafruit Adabox 16, I believe. Yep, 16. Unboxed. Very exciting. Glad I stayed subscribed. I've wanted to play with all these things, and I would have just delayed and delayed and delayed buying these things without um, Adafruit packaging them in the box for us. And um, stay tuned uh, to the future, where I'll have a little video after I put it together. Bye.